If you feel to the core of your being that you are a targeted individual, you really believe you're a targeted individual, this is a video you're going to want to watch because you're going to want this advice. As a targeted individual and a real one at that, there's a target on your back, obviously something's going on. People might really be after you. For whatever reason. You're going to want to stay low and stoic. Stoic as in you just... You stay in the down low. And you remain just cool, calm, and collected. Stoic. You're good. You're just, you're cool. Because if you have a target on your back to begin with, and you just continuously put yourself out there, put yourself out there, put yourself out there, over and over and over and over and over again, you're just increasing the likelihood of somebody doing something bad to you that you don't want to happen. Which is why you stay low. You stay calm, cool, collected. You're, you're basically ready for some nap. You're not paranoid about it, but you're just like, you're good. Your energy's conserved. You're not blowing the tank all the time. You're not wasting useless energy all the time doing whatever. Instead, you stay low. You stay calm. You do what you do. You go to work. You, you work on your business. You, you do whatever you do. You do your activities, but you're not making a scene. You're just kind of staying low. This is how you win in these situations because people's going to not know what to attack at one point when it comes to you. Because these people are already on your back. They're already watching you. They're hoping bad things happen to you. They're trying to put a curse on you. They're trying to energetically and spiritually throw you off in life. This is what a target individual really is. People explain this thing in many different ways. And there is many different ways to explain it because there's many different circumstances of actually being a target individual, but this is another one. <clears throat> you could just be that person where you're up to things. You're busy. You're a go-getter. You're a high achiever. You do things at a different level than the people in your community. You're just not like the rest. You're cut from a different cloth. Not saying you're Jesus or nothing like this, but it's like you know what's up and most people don't. You will be a target. You will be watched. You'll be stalked. People's going to want what you got. They're going to watch you all the time. They're trying to learn from you. And they don't want you to know about it. But they're constantly watching you, constantly learning from you, constantly low key taking inspiration and positivity from you even if they don't they don't want to say nothing to you they don't want to let you know about it but they absolutely do and you don't even know what's happening but I just want to tell you that just to keep doing your thing just keep doing what you're doing don't even worry about it people's going to do what they're going to do and you're going to do what you're going to do by staying who the F you are and getting better over time as well. There's a lot of crooked people in this world. There's a lot of people that just don't get it. It's like they want to get it, but they just can't. It's like reality just is too much for them. They can't face it the way they should. But it is up to you to grow a pair and to face reality as you should. Things are what they are. Everything in life, it is what it is. If you're stocked, so be it. People's blowing up your phone all the time, random people, so be it. People's creeping you on social media, so be it. People's watching you when you're damn well sleeping, so be it. But it's up to you to just do the best you can in these situations. There's rules in this world for a reason. 
it's a good thing there's rules. Because a lot of people would be dead if there wasn't rules, let's be honest. And I'm not saying in the hands of me or in the hands of you, but it could even be us. Because there's some crazy, spiritual, warped people in this world that they have thoughts that they don't even put out there. They secretly, down, they low-key maybe want to end your life because they dislike you that much. They watch you that much. They despise you that much because you're making them look like a fool every single day just by being who you are. Just because you're a better man or a better woman than they are is enough for them to want to literally end you. Because you can face reality like they can. You can get results in life like they can. It could be enough for them to really want to harm you. And they start to stalk you. They start to watch you. They start to obsess over you. You become a target individual, a TI. <clears throat> and that's where you're going to have to stay low. Just stay low. Don't overdo it. Don't underdo it. Just keep doing what you're doing. Focus on things to you that matter. And keep on trucking in life. Things won't be bad forever. But you know, this is probably one of the best strategies that you could use because you're not going to stop living your life. You're not going to hide under a tree trunk. But as much as possible, you just kind of stay low, stay to yourself. Because if you get around these fools too much, they're going to start to try to put you underneath them because that's what jealous, envious people do. You can't grow around these people because they are not growing. When you outgrow them and you see them around all the time, they just get mad. It's like you can't even be yourself around these people because if you are, they're just going to get mad. It's going to be a very bad vibe, so it's like you got to hide the person you actually are and, and dumb yourself down to a lot of people. And it's crazy. Because you're never staying the same, bro. You just keep growing and growing and growing. A lot of people don't want to see it. A lot of people don't want to feel less than. But that's because these weaklings can't face reality and actually grow as a man or as a woman, whatever you are. So they start to obsess over you almost. And maybe not in the most positive way. Some people may be, some people maybe not. But they're going to watch you. They're going to hate on you. They're going to be jealous of you, envious of you. They despise you. And you're not even looking their way. You're not even doing anything to them at all. But this is how it is. I had to cut so many people off in my life, bro. So many people. Because they just can't accept you and your growth the way you contribute to your own life and existence they simply cannot accept it so they get mad and pissy they're always in a bad mood when you come around it's because you're on cloud nine and they can sense that they know that so that's why it's best for you to stay low and stoic you're not caring of what these people think you're not caring of what these people have to say behind the scenes or to you you're just staying low and stoic. You're doing what you have to do on a daily basis. And they're just going to stay mad. In their feelings. You hurt their feelings, the better you get. You just hurt their feelings. Because they're ultra sensitive to life and in life in general. I'm sensitive to energies. If someone is around me with bad intentions, you can look at me and smile, and I know you have bad intentions. You can give me any facial expressions you want, and I know what kind of intentions you have because I'm sensitive to people's energies. I wouldn't consider myself a sensitive person, but to energies, yeah. In certain ways, maybe. I'm also cold. I can kind of block out those things if I want to sometimes but if there's enough energies around me and stuff like that I can damn well feel it and I don't like it sometimes I don't like it 
if people, if there is a female around me as well, I can tell and I can get a read if she really likes me without, without her even saying it. I can just tell. Some females really try to hide that, man. Say if you meet a new girl or something like that, she might really try to hide it. As long as you're around me, people can hide it pretty good over a text. It's hard to tell over a text what's going. I'm talking about in person. You can't hide how you feel about me in person when we are one-on-one -on -one together because energies don't lie. You could be drawn to me, I could be drawn to you, you could be drawn to me, I, I might not be drawn to you. But at the end of the day, I can tell how you feel about me when you are around me, whether it's a female, the opposite sex, or if it's a friend, a stranger, I can tell how you feel about me. If you want to fight me and you're in front of me but you're not saying it, but that's how you feel, I can tell. I can tell what people think. You, you don't have to say nothing to me, I can tell. There's something about me, it, it's, it's in the spirit, it's, it's your high IQ, which is what I have, a high IQ. I can tell. And I can also tell how I make you feel. I see things very clearly. And even a lot of the reasons why these things are the way they are makes me a targeted individual. There's many people that watch a lot of things that I do. Social media, in person, in many different places. And people are gonna watch, bro. Nothing you can do about that. Just keep being yourself. Don't overly put yourself out there too much. Don't underly put yourself out there. Just be who you are. And in the midst of things, just kind of stay low, stay stoic. Focus on your mission, your purpose. Focus on things that matter to you. Keep a small circle around of people around you. I talk to, there's a few people I talk to damn near daily almost every day some days obviously you no know, you don't have anything to say but there's people you know I conversate with and that's a good thing because you guys both have or you and her or you or him or whoever you're talking to a lot of similar interests you guys ain't thinking about sus things like like what I'm trying to explain here because all these things let's be honest this is sus people in this world are sus which is why we even have to break things down and explain things the way I'm explaining things because a lot of people are sus. There's a lot of demons in hell out there and a lot of people are not awakened to even see that. But I am. Because my soul is on fire, bro. Like, I'm very awake. Even when I... I could be half asleep. Like I damn well am right now. Because it's bedtime real soon. <clears throat> but... I could be even like half asleep on my bed with one eye shut and just one almost blinking down ready to fall asleep and I'm still more awake than the majority of this world. That's how asleep most people are. They don't even know. I notice little things. It's not even that I want to. It's that I just do. It's like I'm a cat or some shit. I just hear every sound. It's, it's just like I don't know what it is. It's just the way it is. I'm just like an alert guy. I remember one time, years ago, this was the end of 2019, the beginning of 2020, before COVID hit. I know I went to a club slash bar with, with a friend, just me and him. We went there. A lot of females there that night, a lot of things going on. But me and him sat down at the table, one of the more popular tables where a lot of people go around. Me and him had a drink and we were just sitting there. And one guy that this my that my buddy knew from school came and sat down and he had a business suit on. He was he was getting into into a lot of things. And he told me exactly what he thought about me. And I've never heard something so on point in my entire life. Because he told me the exact truth of who I really am. 
because he could get a good read on me. Now, just because you can get good reads on other people doesn't mean there's not people out there in the world who can get a good read on you. Because everybody is readable. It, it, it comes down to you and how well you can read others. Because people that can read others well can also be read easily by other people who can read people really well. And he told me what kind of a person I am. What kind of a person I'm like. He's like, you're literally like a jaguar. Like, you're so alert. Any little thing, you're just alert. You see everything. He's like, you're, you'd be one of the hardest people to actually, like, jump. To, like, for people to jump me and fight me and beat me down. Because I hear everything. I see everything. I'm very quick, sharp, witty, and aggressive. I can be very aggressive, too. So, he labeled me like a jaguar. And, like, I was laughing when he was saying these things because... Everything he was saying was so true, and I never seen such a smart kid. He was a few years younger than me at this time, and he's a very smart kid. Had a business suit on and everything, and it gave me a good laugh because everything he was saying was true. And I just clapped his hand, and that was that. But everything he said was on point. And it was actually quite impressive because I agreed with everything he said. Like everything he told me is what I already knew about myself. I was like, damn, this guy's good. So, but anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you feel you are a TI, a targeted individual, just remember to stay low. Everything's going to be all right. People's going to treat you weird. People's going to be very fake to you in, in person. There's you're, That's what you're going to find a lot. It's a lot of people is just very dumbed down around you. Because people's watching you, you don't even know they're watching you, but you can tell they're watching you by the way they act dumbed down around you and they act stupid, but you know what they're doing. It's like they're trying to hide the fact that they're watching you. They, they act dumb around you. It's what they do. But you already know. You already know, bro. So, stay on the lookout. I'll be back with some more videos. <clears throat>